believe it or not, I'm the only person with existing channel on YouTube that is ma that has made a review on this TV show. I shit you not, I have tirelessly looked for a view or any kind of impressions on this TV show. I found none. Well, no matter the views, no matter the success, no matter how this video is recepted by YouTube or, you know, YouTube viewers, we will change that fact today. Probably the first and probably the last review on this TV show, on, you know, ever in the history of YouTube. This video may not do well, it probably won't do well, but does this face belong to a guy who gives a shit? If I don't make a fucking review on this TV show, well, I'm just gonna ruin my day, and I do not want that. So yeah, today I'm talking about the most underrated, the most uncommercialized, unmainstreamed, look, on everything TV show of all time. You've never heard of it, absolutely. You've absolutely never, never heard of it. And that's my job to tell you, should you watch it or not, my recommendation. Today, I'm talking about the TV show, the Russian TV show, Brigade. So Brigade, Brigade, the, the Brigade is a crime, organized crime, mafia, gangster drama set in Russia between the years 1989, 1991, 1994 to 2000. The events that unfold follow the main character's path, Sasha Belov, into small notoriety, into the small gangs with some disputes, but then to the highest peak of organized crime in Russia and pretty much in the whole, whole of the Balkans. So yeah, why does this, uh, does this TV show now famous? If I say, look, I'm going to say why this show isn't famous. Not for the sole reason, sole reason being bad. No, I'm going to get into it later, but it's not mainstreamed. It's not something people will fucking explode. It's not high production value. It's some high box office success. No, it's just the quality writing, quality acting. Every single fucking drop of this masterpiece is quality. Believe me. So, uh, it is a mainstream. Nobody has, you know, heard of it. Apart from Russia but in Bulgaria and a few countries in the Balkans, which is a given. You know, given the origin of this TV show, but let me get. I've told you enough that this show deserves more success, more popularity. You know, maybe I do, maybe I don't, who knows? <laughs> uh, but still, I'm gonna tell you why I think The Brigade is the most underrated and probably the fucking pinnacle of, you know, mafia, mafia gangster uh, movies or TV shows. It's on part with Breaking Bad, The Sopranos. Even Peaky Blinders, for that fact. This show is absolutely amazing. And the best thing is, if you watch it, you'll be surprised. It's gonna be a fucking mind-blowing to you. To even think, even consider that quality coming from Russia. Look, I've been watching Russian TV shows and movies forcefully by my relatives. Just out of respect for them. Because they like it, they find enjoyment in them. And I just try to make them happy. But I, I, I just can't do it anymore. It's just too fucking exhausting. And yeah, I just don't like them. Simple fact. But anyway, uh, none of the two shows, of course, that, I, that, that they showed me I liked. And I got to, hmm, I grew to hate the Russian cinema and all of its glories. The TV shows, the fucking movies, everything went under my radar, under the fucking rug. Because, frankly, I didn't even think a quality thing would come from that, from that country. That was, of course, before I watched Brigade. Brigade changed everything I thought about Russian cinema, Russian movies. No! Oh my god, why am, am I saying this? It didn't change shit. But it was the only TV show out of the bunch that tried. That actually tried to go mainstream. Not by marketing, not by commercials, but by sheer quality. This is... It takes so much from The Godfather. It takes so much from The Sopranos, from different gangster uh, TV shows of the type. And it absolutely originized them, doesn't rip them off. And it's so, so fucking 
heartfelt, emotional moments, great characters, amazing writing. So, so as I said, <clears throat> the story follows Sasha Belov, recently released uh, from duty, army soldier, a border, you know, the border soldiers are, are do, aren't doing shit. They're just fucking cuddling dogs and just waiting towards the end. And Afghanistan, by the way, which is right after, I believe. I'm not a history expert, so I'm not going to say that I fucking know everything about Russian history. But I think that was uh, right before the end of the Cold War. Cold War, yeah. And end of the 80s, let's say it like that. Uh, so he gets released. Then he, 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 he was waiting to see his loved... His lover, she has a, he hasn't seen her in two years. She hasn't uh, wrote him any messages. <laughs> kind of relatable to me. Anyway, and his friends, of course, his childhood friends, uh, you know, Cosmos, B, and Phil. These two, these, these three guys, four of them, including the main character, are friends from early age, from like the age of five. They had known each other for the, all their life, stuck to each other from, oof, you know, bad and good and everything. So they're, uh, they're, you know, meeting up together. You know, his mom, of course, a traditional Russian mom will offer him always food. To, you know, the four of them together talk some stuff. And apparently, Sasha's girlfriend uh, is now a prostitute. Yeah, she is a prostitute. He isn't very happy by the news. And yeah, he, one thing leads to another and he angers a... Uh, crazy Russian mob in downtown and it starts very effectively, very intriguingly and it doesn't fucking let off. From the beginning, it introduces you to the characters, who's who, what the, what the fuck is happening and it slowly unveils itself, slowly through character development, through writing quality, through pacing quality, everything feels so natural, not forced and perfectly explained by every single episode. There's some questions where like you think, yeah, how did that? How that? How the fuck did that? Did that happen? Next episode, they still aren't explaining this. Next episode, why the fuck are they not explaining it? And two episodes later, they explained it. Everything is clear. No criticism left for you to say. Anyway, so I'm not gonna tell you more than than uh, than the start, because uh, believe me, just avoid as many spoilers as you can. Avoid as many spoilers as you can. I mean, it's hard. No, uh, you know. To have any spoilers on this because it's not famous at all. But um, accidentally, one in a million chance if you see a scene or the amazing, amazing, masterful, one of the best soundtracks ever heard in anything. If you see the soundtrack, you'll see some images of the TV show. So yeah, mind you, spoil it then if you go up to YouTube and see the soundtrack. Which is the most famous thing about the show, unfortunately. Which is amazing in and of itself, but the show is pretty criminally underrated as well. Still... Avoid spoilers for anything, not only for this TV show, and generally, don't fucking look at spoilers. It ruins everything, in my opinion, at least, but still. Maybe you enjoy spoilers, I don't know. Maybe you have some kind of fucking fetish for them, I don't know. Um, still, amazing characters, amazing writing. The only problem that this TV show had, as I said, is the budget, is the marketing, is the <clears throat> popular popularizing this histori these historical facts. Through, um, through time and, you know, the subject matter is so controversial. It involves deep can, uh, politics and corruption inside of the Russian system. And it's most of it is proven, to be honest, which is the darkest shit. That it actually was that high level of corruption, high level of fucking mafia and gangster, you know, stuff in Russia. That, and that were literally on the top controlling everything. So... <clears throat> Uh, you know, long story short, this story is about how yeah, life fucking sucks. And the only way you, for you to find this is not listening to your mom, not listening to your dad. But you you yourself must go through it. There's no other way. When people say, listen to your mom, as I said, listen to your dad, listen to your uh, grandfather, listen to your relatives. They know better than you. They have experienced more things than you. That uh, That's for me, that, that at least for me is complete bullshit. Because... People paint images in your head, what it's life, what life is in their eyes, uh, what, they, what they've gone through, they see it in, in, in their light. And they think that this light, this version of life is only, only version that will happen in life, which is fucking bullshit. 
They paint images, self-made images, and they transfer them into your head. And then you find out that actually these images are not going to be the same for you. So the only way for you to learn, for you to progress, is experience things for yourself. Yes, people say listen to the elders, they know better. But bitch, if you do not go through this yourself, you will never find out the truth or what it's like. You have to go through that shit, dark path to find out who you really are and what you really want. This, at this point, you become aware of everything. This is when you gain experience in life. No other way. No one will tell you how it, how it will be, how it was, how it is. The only one who can tell you these things is yourself. Nobody else, believe me. And whoever says otherwise can go suck my hairy balls because... I believe that's a clear, clear fact, at least. Anyway, <clears throat> back to the show. The show has some comedic moments as well. Of course, I mean, every quality TV show has to break some ice a little bit. But yeah. It's one, it's one, it's really one of the most saddest TV shows ever. Probably the saddest one. It literally ended so fucking... At the end, the last two episodes were absolutely so crushing. So crushing. I've experienced so many horrible things in my short period of time and on this earth. And I've never even came close to actually fucking uh, tearing up, you know, to a TV show, to something that is on my screen. I I've never felt that feeling. This show gave me that feeling for the first time. I was actually sick of some deaths that were happening on the TV show because I felt the loss. I was growing with, with these characters. I was developing with them. And I know it sounds cliche and many other shows do it, but this show does it in such an effective and relatable and emotional way that absolutely grabs your fucking soul and crushes it as much as it can in the most effective and the most quality way possible. For all of you who haven't watched this TV show, you can find it on Amazon Prime. You can find it in different countries, of course. You can stream it on different streaming servers. Just watch it. Just fucking watch it. And if you're, if you have Zamunda, Zamunda Touch, uh, Zamunda dot com, it's a it's a pirate site. It's a legal site, but you know they have free TV shows and movies you can watch. Which yeah, I mean, go for it if you want. Still, don't ever let this TV show die. Always keep it alive. Always keep it in memory. And yeah. <clears throat> Uh, complaints, yeah, uh, I, I, I'm gonna lie if I say it's perfect, it isn't perfect, it had some pacing, pacing issues, which is due to the small fucking budget, look, listen, this, <clears throat> this, the director and the writers of this show was their first time they ever did any kind of a project, which is fucking mind-blowing, the, the many things they did was were absolutely fucking simply incredible and for you to know that that, that was their first first ever professional tv show they've ever done or any kind of cinema it's fucking mind-boggling to me but still no as i said very limited budget thousands not millions just thousands of rub rubles which is, which is the currency for in russia at the time at least <clears throat> so yeah limited budget and they had to film only one season only one season, even though this show could have easily been stretched and milked to at least a fourth season. So many things happen, and they... So, I think that's a positive, but they could have milked a lot of more audiences, and a lot of more mainstream if this TV show was more than one season. It would have been more watchable as well. But still, this is bad, that it, they rushed too, too many things. But on the other hand... Uh, the, the show doesn't waste any time. Doesn't pull any soft punches. No. When the punches hit, they are hard, and they're fast, and they're quick, and they're fucking continuous, and rapid, and you don't, since, you know, they keep hitting you, and keep hitting you, and you don't know where the fuck you are at, at the end of the punches. This show absolutely crushes your soul, as I said. <clears throat> it gives you something, a little glamour of hope. It just tingles in front of your eyes. And then the cruel reality just splashes it in front of your face. Like a cum shot. Everything goes blasted. All of the hope you had. Every single ounce. 
of hope and you know goodwill is destroyed never to come back again and yeah it's incredible as i said the only flaw is they could have uh explained the ending a bit better because it ends so abruptly a bit like a bit like the sopranos uh <clears throat> but oh my god I don't even think for a second that the ending is bad the ending is incredible i'm talking only about the last shot if the, i needed only one or two more shots and i would have been even more satisfied but I'm not, I'm not bothered uh, that it ended abruptly. I'm fine. This is the second, in my opinion, the second best TV show ending since Breaking Bad. I think Breaking Bad is still at the highest level and it would not be topped, in my opinion, ever, like to a perfect end to a TV show. Brigade comes very close. It absolutely makes all the characters pay for what they've done, makes everything makes sense, makes everything so tidy up, much like Breaking Bad. <clears throat> took it, uh, that's before Breaking Bad, so yeah, it took no inspirations from it. So that's yeah, original. But still, just watch the fucking show. It's on Amazon Prime, as I said, I think that's the, mo the most... Uh, <clears throat> you can watch it on DVD too, with English subtitles. I think it has, yeah, I watched it on DVD. Yeah. The only alive person in 2021 who is watching things at DVD. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Sicko. Anyway. Just watch it, okay? That's my recommendation. Okay, uh, give it a score, I would give it 9.5. I know, I know. I have a, I have a score system. I only give zero, like a 9 or an 8 or a 10. Like 0, not, don't, don't give any points. But this show deserves a fucking point. 9.5 with a must-watch badge. Incredible TV show. If it had a higher budget... And it, if it took it, and, and, and maybe if it took its time more, it could have been an easily, easily 10. But it, what it offered to you was simply incredible and unforgetting experience with one of the best music, one of the best soundtracks I've ever heard in anything. One of the best characters, main characters to be honest, Sasha Balov. So many incredible, incredible plot lines and moments and it's so fucking good. Do yourself a favor and watch. That's my recommendation at least. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's coming live in a few uh, minutes, I believe. Yeah. And believe it or not, in a couple of hours time, you have a new game series on this channel. Boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'm getting the videos pumped up. That's for you guys. <clears throat> As I said, I don't care if this video does well or not. I only want it to be online. I only want it to be known that this show has to live in some kind of form. And if this form is my channel, the only source source of life on it on the internet well i'm happy that is me thanks for watching love you all everybody watch the show if you haven't already and yeah pretty much like and subscribe if you want to see more of this piece of shit and yeah i reckon you don't but still by the same chance you do like and subscribe okay love you all stay safe in these dangerous times yeah and i'll see you pretty soon Okay, peace.